for dinner? Do you mind if I share what you have on the menu? But it's my wife's favorite. It's the uh, lobster uh, savannah. Can I share that with a little inside tip? Let these folks know about this. Because this is something you are never going to see on any other, or I have never seen. Let me just put it there. I can't say never, but I've never seen it on any other menu. And I worked in the business for 20 years prior to being here. Let me tell you something. This is lobster savannah. It's not always on the menu. You have to ask the server if they have it. But if they have it, you have to get it. It's a, a like an eight to ten or ten ounce lobster tail, whatever the size is that day, but it's huge. And they, they dice it up, not in little dice butts, but nice chunks of lobster. They saute it with onions, a little there's a little shot of uh, green and bell pepper. Green and bell pepper, and then melted cheddar cheese, some cheeses, cheddar cheese Snow in there. Little sherry, little cream. A little cream, I'm gonna tell you. And then they put it back in the shell. They put it under the broiler just to let it brown a little bit. Oh my goodness gracious, I'm telling you folks. If you do nothing else and you're coming to Atlantic City, you have to get the Lobster Savannah at Angeloni's too. Trust me on that. And as a matter of fact, send me an email if you disagree with me, which I know you're not. That's I don't, I don't know if my chef's going to like you for SJ, that. SJ, SJ inside. Yeah, because they don't have it all the time. So don't, you know, you got to ask them before. you got to say, hey, do you have it tonight? You know, and if they don't, they don't. Because it's one of those things. They only make it on special nights. But if they're making it, if the chef, If the chef's it. not too busy, you know, he'll, he'll do it. But my email address, sjinsider at aol.com. Speaking of web uh, inside, uh, email addresses, Angelonis has a great site, angelonis.com, uh, on the World Wide Web, and you can communicate, make reservations, all that kind of stuff on there. And they got a nice video, I saw that, it was a nice touch. All right, so now we're talking about, and we, you know, we've got a couple more minutes here in closing. We were talking about the walk, which we're on Georgia Avenue, so you got Mississippi and then Missouri mm -hmm. Avenue. Well, There's the talk of the walk coming all the way down. Uh, one more block, block closer, one more block closer, from what I understand. I just hope it's not with any restaurants. <laughs> that's the bottom line. Now that's an interesting question. Even though they do have restaurants over there, not the quality, caliber of what you have here, but have you noticed? I mean, you would notice with people coming in with bags or anything. You see, uh, do you get any? Do you, do you um, think you get any spillover yeah, from it? Early evening, on occasion. Uh huh. Early evening, and in the summer when it's you know warm, and they, they leave their car parked and then they walk. Um, Lunch, no, and that's when their walk is really busy, and they'll wait in line at some of these right, you know, right, right, for 45 minutes, not knowing if they could take a five minute, walk, not even a two minute walk from there and come here for lunch and be back. I've done, be done with their lunch and be back shopping, but they'd still be waiting in line and and, that, and, and have a beautiful and because that's the, 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 the truth is, they, these guys got a great lunch too. My my personal favorite is the old time. See, I'm an old school guy. The finger steak, you know, you got the little sirloin, you slice it up, and they put it on the toast. I love that. You know what I mean? But I'm a, you know, I'm a meatloaf steak guy. Of course, my veal franchise. Uh The menu, and that's the other thing. Price friendly, hot, high ingredients. Uh, veal franchise, all the pastas. Well, we, we specialize in veal and Italian seafood. Right. Uh, uh, we have a large selection of called steaks and chops. Uh, not your veal chop, poultry right. dishes. Your you know your traditional pasta dishes. Veal chops, yeah. Hey, lamb chops, pork chops, veal chops, uh, sirloin steaks, filet mignon. And the eggplant. We sell and... we sell more steak than I think that we do uh, pasta. That's dishes. amazing yeah. too. Well, well, you know the, the other thing is you guys got they have the pizza aioli, which is phenomenal. And I like to, I get the pork chop pizza aioli, but I think you can get a steak pizza aioli too, right? Want, sure. That's you know the steak with the pork chop, and they broil it, and then they top it with the the sautéed mushroom onion mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and a little mozzarella. Oh my God, it's delicious. Just for, now, one question, so the people are going to want to know. They're going to want to know. What does the boss get to eat when he eats? <laughs> Whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> it's good uh, to be the king, huh? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. What do you, and, well, and, you know, know, and I don't want to follow it up with, not to plug anybody else, but obviously, you know, you go out. What do you, sure. what do you like to do? Well, so what do you, what, I'm, what, what I'm, do you like to eat? You steak kind of, man? Yeah, I'm more of a steak potato kind of guy. Uh -huh. um, Naturally, I like Italian dishes. Um, where do I like to go? Yeah. I like to go to, uh, I like Stephen Cookies. Stephen um, Cookies, nice. The Green House. Now do you like, do you go into the front the restaurant green, of Stephen Cookies? You doesn't matter. Back, the back, doesn't matter because the, the, the food's good no matter where you go. Stephen Cookies, and, uh, I don't want to get. Uh, Ventura's upstairs. It's great. 
Luke and Barbara and Kenny. They're the best. It's great. The food's always good. Um, after that, I'll tell you what, that's I a nice trail right that's, there. That, that, those two are really the only, only two I go to. Um, Italian restaurants, uh, you know, I kind of stay away from yeah. because, I, you know, you, you, see get it that, you get the best Italian right. food right well, here. Well, you see it every day, you know. Yeah. Um, that's great, though. Well, on occasion, you know, the, 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 uh, the steakhouses and the, and the casinos, um, I still. And I gotta get over there. I haven't been. To, I know I love docks. As far as seafood, you gotta go to docks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I haven't been to the knife and fork yet. And shame on me because I gotta get over there. But I like going. To, I, I used to love the Oaks. I don't even they're still open over the hill. Now the Oaks is open, but they close. They close Caruso. Okay. Now that leads me to another thing because I, we're talking about food, 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 and people don't realize you got a wine selection. It's like phenomenal. I mean, this wine selection is just—it's—it's it's almost endless now. Well, we've cut it back. You always featuring different types of wines. What are, what are some of your favorites that you have? My personal favorites. Mid, mid price, economy price, mid price, and high price. What, what do you like? Oh, uh, well, I'm a California buff. I love California wines. I love I love the Italian. What am I drinking? Here? Is this the house? Actually, no. You're drinking. You're drinking a South African wine. It's a Pinot Cage Cabernet. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a combination, yeah. Like a blend? Yeah. yeah. This is delicious. What, what's the name of this? It's, it's called Shabika. It's a uh, Cabernet Pinot Cage blend. Wow. Um, that's, that's